Dozens of people came together at the WIC 338 today to ride for a mission. The sixth annual Honor and Remember Ruck and Roll for the Fallen is put on by the Honor and Remember Massachusetts chapter. Organizers, riders, and community members say it's an important event that keeps our country's heroes' legacies alive. Kickstands went up at 1130 Sunday morning and nearly 100 motorcycles hit the road, all riding in honor of our service men and women. I'm here today to honor uh, the men and women that made the ultimate sacrifice for us, that are still out there defending us. As a fellow veteran myself, I know what it's like, and it's an honor and a privilege to be here to uh, ride for them. Honor and Remember Massachusetts Chapter Director Brian Miller tells Western Mass News this is the first time the yearly event has been held at the WIC 338. We've really brought the entire community uh, into one event here today. Everything from the Gold Star families to the AMR Ambulance Service, Sheriff's Departments, police officers, and the military and veteran community here. So we're all out here today for the support. Susan Rudd Redfern was there Sunday for her son, Tech Sergeant Patrick Rudd who was killed on October 3rd, 2014. This is humongous. I'm, I'm excited for today. I can't believe all the vendors that are here, the motorcycles. I, it's just, it's gonna be an amazing day today. They just keep all our families um, in the front of their mind and they, they always honor us. We're never forgotten. We're included with everything that's going on. And it's just, it's just great that they remember our boys and our ladies that have died. Also on the minds of everyone there Sunday, members of the Jarheads Motorcycle Club, who were killed in an accident in June in Randolph, New Hampshire. So let the families know that we continue to remember them. And Colonel Pete Green from the 104th Fighter Wing attended the event this morning, giving a special speech. The event also collected food donations for the Pioneer Valley USO.